Hey, hey, and welcome to Be Inspired with the Amber, your Puerto Rican mommy with a sprinkle of French. And welcome, welcome. So today what I'm going to do is I am going to do four astrological reads. I'm going to start off with um, Aquarius. And I'm going to work my way down from Capricorn, Aquarius, Capricorn, Sagittarius, and Scorpio. And tomorrow I'll do my best to get the other four and so on and so forth. So, Aquarius, I pre-shuffled your cards, okay? So, um, Aquarius, the first card I got, and and before I, I talk about the, um, the cards, I am going to say that sometimes uh, you may, Aquarius sun may not resonate with the cards, but if you have an Aquarius rising, or if you have um, an Aquarius moon, or an Aquarius Venus, these cards may resonate with you. Sometimes your own sun doesn't actually resonate. It depends what what um, what uh, um, sign do you have in your astrological chart. So you want to check that. If you don't know what rising sign you are, you want to check the time you were born. And from that point on, you will be able to find out your rising sign with your time and and the year and so forth your moon um what house your finances are etc okay first of all the first card that i'm going to draw here is your first card which is the path this is a female and this is basically the influence of the card as far as what's influencing you or what is the foundation of the card and um aquarius if this is you if you have a rising or a moon sign and fire, this is basically you. You're very creative. Um, you are, you can also, like I talked about this card before, you can also be an innovator. You can also be eccentric. You have many ways of, um, of styling, of styles, and uh, you just know how to be creative. But this is for the sign of Aquarius. You you may have a Aries, a Sagittarius, an Aries, a Sagittarius, or a Leo in your rising, in your Venus, or even in your moon, Aquarius, if this is you. Other, otherwise, if this is for a, a male, this means that this female came up. Basically, a woman that you met that you have met in the past that you're still dealing with and um yeah this is for that for that man if he's going through that you know with this particular female i am falling asleep today so please excuse me okay so let's see um number two uh is the okay this one is the obstacles so this is basically the obstacles uh, the obstacles in your path so this could um, basically be um, for the female okay um, because currently right now if you're a female um, it's basically and that card resonated with you Aquarius uh, it basically stood for your creativity and um, being an innovator and uh, eccentric etc etc so if you have had any any obstacles in your path it's because you yourself haven't been taking care of yourself physically you, you've been possibly overspending with this card or even you may um, be dealing with an immature water sign here a person who's uh, very uh quickly to um quickly to respond and he's not really he doesn't watch his spending so he can overspend and he's a bit immature he's younger than you of course because as you see this is the queen of wands okay and if this pertains to a male basically you're not you're not watching your spending as well, and you're not really taking care of yourself. And the best thing to do 
during these times because there's a lot of obstacles in your path is to um, um, this is what I'm getting Aquarius you got to be kinder to others okay the, with this card this this is what I'm 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 vibing it's like so much karma is coming through with this card because these are basically obstacles in your in your life so um, since you're not since you're not really um, really thinking about others currently this card is basically in the way so it's basically almost like a karmic card it's basically reflecting on on you okay the third card okay the third card this is basically um, this is what's working for you this is what's basically working for you and what's working for you is basically that you're not uh, creating that haste like haste makes waste when you are quick to do something but you're not quick to do something you're watching what you do you're um, not doing things abruptly you're basically waiting for the right time so this is um, this is working for you you're basically observing Aquarius you're observing what you're doing versus um, right away uh, getting into something that you know you shouldn't be getting into okay rather it is um, if you're possibly working on a project make sure it's edited correctly so that you could bring out the most if you're dealing with an individual make sure that um, that the green light is on. You don't want to, you know, go without, um, without, without um, thinking about the consequences. So this card is is actually for you because you're you're using you're using your head this time. All right. So on that note, this one is for the for the near future, and this is basically prosperity success and because you've been working hard this is a four of wands this is creativity success and all that good stuff okay and and pardon me that that I that I wear my glasses each time I pick up a card because I'm because um because like I said before I used to read cards years ago like 17 18 years ago and I used to be one of the the readers from the from the phone I used to do uh, card reads, uh, card reads through the phone. Uh, I'm, I'm one of the, the old timers that used to do psychic readings through the phone were back then when they hired me, actually they hired me and they ask you questions and they want you to do, uh, to do readings, to have done readings for them in order to hire you. You know, they, they test you through the reads that you would do through the phone, but all in all, yeah. So I'm I'm going back to the reads, and I'm just just looking at the cards and uh, just uh, absorbing. Okay, so this one is for the near future, Aquarius. Uh, and and pardon me if I'm talking um, over your read. So this card is for you. This is for the near future, and it's a a good card because you've been working really hard, Aquarius. You've been working really hard, especially if you have any creative projects or you just recently started a job and you're possibly managing this this company, uh, I pick up either nine or 10 people that you are over and you are working really hard to make this company prosper. And I pick up, it's not a, a very huge company. It's, it's not, mm, I pick up seven or nine years old that the company, you know, started. It's it's had as good and as bad, especially during this whole stuff that um, is going is going on. And I feel that that the company is really good to the employees that are actually working there. So this card is definitely prosperity. All right. Oh, my allergies are bad today. Okay, number five. Aquarius, this card is Eight of Cups. Eight of Cups, um, 
Eight of Cups. This is basically, oh boy, I'm sorry. I have um, allergies. Okay, this is basically another future card, and this is choices. Aquarius, you have to make choices, whether that's in love, whether that's in um, what are you going to say, what are you going to do uh, in, in work. There's a lot of choices that you have to make. You have to focus. You have to focus more, Aquarius, because this is what I'm seeing with your cards, okay? And then with... As the time goes by as well, you're going to need rest, Aquarius. You're going to need to recuperate because you're going to, you're exhausted. You're burning two candles on one end. This is exactly what I'm saying. You're burning two candles on one end. So try to focus, meditate, get some rest. Okay, Aquarius, now to the sign of Capricorn. So... I didn't do my song today. I'm, I'm just exhausted today. Don't mind me. But I hope you've you had a good Easter weekend. I hope you had a good Easter weekend. I had a pretty good weekend myself. I hope you did, you know. This is for the sign of Capricorn. It was pretty cool out there. I washed my hair, so I made sure I wear my hats just don't like to get any little drafts here and there so Capricorn 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 let me wear my glasses as I shuffle okay Capricorn let me just let me clear these cards I have a very small space that I'm working on okay Okay, Capricorn, first card from the past and something that actually is going on right now is basically the Five of Cups, the Five of Cups. You don't seem to look at, Capricorn, what you have going on currently. You keep looking at the, at the other spilled cups, but you have other cups available, okay? You have other cups available. You have those two beautiful cups above. You see that? But you keep worrying over spilled milk, Capricorn. And you don't want to do that. You do not want to do that. Okay? Um, hmm, hmm, hmm. You don't want to be worrying about that. All in all, let's actually see. What are the obstacles, Capricorn? What are the obstacles that are actually in your way? It's probably you, because this is a queen of coins. You're probably in your own way, okay? If you're manipulative, if you're um, trying to control situations that you can't control, Capricorn, this is, uh, you are in your own way with this card. And if you are a rising Taurus Capricorn and um, also Virgo, this could also uh, be pertaining to you because currently right now with, with, um, with uh, Scorpio being there, is it, I, I know Scorpio is going to be in the um, South, is it the South Node? And then you have Capricorn, and, and I know Capricorn has gone through some stuff as well. And now with Scorpio, and if you have any bit of Scorpio in your chart, Capricorn, it's it's not going to be easy for about a year and a half for many of us, okay? But all in all, Capricorn, you are in your own way, so try to get out your way. If you are not in your own way, there's another female that's in your way. In your way, it, it could be a mother. It could be um, 
It could be a mother. It could be a family member. It could be a friend that you may not trust. Okay. So just um, focus and use your radar. Antenna radio, radar and meditate. Okay, Capricorn. All right. Uh, the influence. Okay, this is... Um, Okay, so this is working in your favor. This is working in your favor. So you have a lot of choices here, Capricorn. You got seven of cups. So this is working in your favor. You have seven of cups. You got a lot of stuff going on. Good stuff going on, Capricorn. You have a lot of stuff going on. But the the thing that I, that I notice is that you're not too happy. You're not appreciative. This is what I'm seeing, Capricorn. You're not appreciative. You have a lot of stuff going on. You have a lot of, if you want materialism, you got it. If you want money, you have it. Okay? You have to be thankful because you have a lot of good cards so far. Um, and right here. Yeah, this is the, the future, all right? You have you have the Palace of Cups. The, the Palace of Swords. That's basically meaning you have to... Capricorn, you have to focus. You have to focus. You're not focusing. So, um, since you're not focusing, th this is why all of this stuff is happening, but it's going to get better. It's going to get better. And and you will. You, you will pull through. You will pull through. Because I, I see a beautiful card. A uh, beautiful sunny card here as well. So, please focus. Because you got great cards. In fact, it's it's one of the best, the best in in the read so far. Okay. All right, the next card. <clears throat> this is a long-term future. So this is success achievement. This is a sun card. This is a sun card. So this is success and achievement and joy, happiness with family, with friends. This is the best card that one can actually ask for. So get out of your own way, Capricorn, because it's gonna be all right. And the last card you've got, the outcome, would be the Empress card. Rather, you recently got married, Capricorn, and you wanna know if you will have a child I believe yes, but there's going to be some healing before you are able to um, have this child. This this card can also mean um, it can also mean the monarchy of the house. It could also mean the strength, the divine feminine. It can also mean a strong, uh, strong maternal. Um, you have a lot of. Um, females around you Capricorn and if this is a man that it basically means that yes um, your wife or your girlfriend will be okay okay uh, she will be okay after going through a process of wanting to give birth it's going to take a while I pick up one to two years where she can get treatment and she's going to be okay all right and man, this this uh, this read also pertains to you. It also pertains to you. And if this was for a male, remember this one was the first card with the cap for the Capricorn, and this one was the path. It could have been an ex-wife that's getting in your way, Capricorn. Okay, so this could be for Capricorn if they're rising, Capric. Uh, if you have a rising. Uh, Capricorn in your rising or in your in your moon or in your Venus. Okay. All right. On now to the sign of Sagittarius. All right. I am not so upbeat today. I'm falling asleep. It hasn't been easy for me today, so but I hope you guys are in good spirits. Keeping your frequencies up. That's exactly what I have to do. Before I shuffle these cards, this is for the sign of Sagittarius. Sagittarius. 
I started thinking about that song. Celebrate good times. Come on. There's a Sagittarius in the room. Okay, Sagittarius. Okay, Sagittarius. I'm working with very little space. Okay, I don't even work in this room because it's more quieter. Quieter. And then my dog is not barking all over the place. She lays down on the bed like a good girl. Okay. Oh, wow. Sagittarius. I'm scared of you, Sagittarius. Okay. This is one of the cards. And for a female... This even could be you, spirit of a king, king of wands. Um, if you are, if you have a rising or a moon or a Venus in, in, um, in a fire sign, this also could be you, um, female Sagittarius, you know, or this could be a man, female Sagittarius, who, who's been in your family past and who you really want to know of okay he's a create he's a um he's an influential man he may he travels he um he's got money this man has money okay he's got money he's there you know he's he's been there providing for you Sagittarius okay and um if not, if this is for a man, this is possibly you. It's talking about you as well. So let's go on with the female first, the female explanation. Okay, so um, the second card with the Sagittarius is this card. So with a female Sagittarius, okay, this could basically, this could basically mean that this is the obstacle. This, this male Sagittarius is trying to constantly watch over you he's trying to watch over you if not this could be because this is a it's not a, a good card because it's an obstacle so it's an obstacle it's someone watching over you possibly someone stalking you or trying to see what you're doing okay trying to know what you're doing being nosy i mean it's it's a beautiful card but it's more of a manipulative opportunistic card um when it when it's obstacles in your path however this is a good card it's uh what's what's going on with that it's success a successful card but um it, it's a it, it's a successful card but only when you um keep it together because you're holding it together. So therefore, things aren't that bad. Is what I'm trying to say with the temperance card. Okay, Sagittarius. And, uh, okay, so so let's kind of intertwine here with, Sagittari with male Sagittarius. So the, for the male Sagittarius, this is you, right? This is you as a Sagittarius. It also could be you uh, as well if you have, you know, the rising and the rising and the venus and the moon this could be you and this could be um a father or grandfather you know telling you what to do if you live in his building he probably doesn't want you to live in his building and he's trying to you know tell you what to do it's you know it's been a challenge it's been a fight this is what i'm picking up okay and then you've been trying You've been trying, and you're going to get good word, good word. Okay, and let's go for the near future for the female. Um, Sagittarius, if, you, if you've been sickly, if you've been sickly, Sagittarius, you're going to get better, Sagittarius. I, I don't know what you're doing. 
um, physically. I don't know if you're eating better. I don't know, but I feel that you're going to get better. Um, if it's anything that you're using, either the bio healing or the, or the frequencies or the rifes or the, the spooky machine that you're using or vitamins that you're taking or either exercises that you've been consistent with, this card says that you will get better in the near, near future. Okay. Um, Sagittarius, uh, and that goes for the for the uh, male Sagittarius as well. So it's it's on on both ends. So, okay, male and female Sagittarius, and this is justice, and right here is basically also a coming future, but more uh, more like uh, more a little long term with any type of um, inheritance or anything that you had a contract with, everything's going to go in your favor, Sagittarius, and you're going to have some money. This is some money coming through. I pick up some money coming through. Uh, you're going to be the winner or or just not, not the winner. It's not a contest. It's basically a contract and uh, you will see justice with this card, okay? The last card you've got is the lover's card. Okay, this is the huh, this is you, you're gonna you're gonna have something going on. Okay, this is gonna be a hot card. This is a lover's card. This is a, a wow. This is gonna be a good card. This is a good card, Sagittarius. Okay, very good card for you. Ain't nothing like the real thing, baby. Ain't nothing like the real thing. As you see the lover's card right here, Sag. Sometimes that's all we need is a little. Okay, so let's go on to the sign of Scorpio. Oh my God. Sagittarius. I love your card, Sagittarius. It ended with a little love little love and lust there okay so the next card is for scorpio this will be my last read for scorpio and um i'll be talking about a few other things tomorrow possibly the day after i'll read four of the signs then i'll go from another subject in the middle okay all right scorpio scorpio Scorpio, what does the universe want me to, what does the universe want me to talk about, Scorpio, for you, spirit guides? Open my third eye, open my consciousness to find out about Scorpio. Because me falling asleep, falling asleep. Falling asleep. Mm. <laughs> oh, Scorpio, Scorpio. Okay, first of all, this is an old. An older person, you know, when you talk about the card of the past, is an older person. It could be foolish mistakes that have been made, mistakes. Uh, it could be someone trying to guide you. This could be from the past or it's basically for now, Scorpio. At the same time, Scorpio, this could be you or standing in your way. If you have the rising sign of Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, either Venus in rising, your Venus, or your moon, okay? You're probably standing in your way again. You can probably be standing in your way, especially if you're a male, okay? Especially if you're a male. Uh, female Scorpios, this can be somebody who uh, is harassing you a bit with money because he makes more money or he's the only one working at the house 
you know, he's the only working uh, male or the, the head of the household. Currently, you're not working and he can be a little bit domineering. Okay, Scorpio. All right. So, but all in all, you know what? Good things are happening. You got the... You got the Nine of Cups, Scorpio. This is for the male and female. So you're going to have good times. Good times. Things are coming. Good times. Yes, you're going to have social time, good social times, parties. You're going to have a good time. You're going to have a great, great time. You've got good cards so far, Scorpio. Even though there's a little obstacles here and there, you got, you're going to have a good time. Okay, you're going to have a party, you're going to have, uh, I would say recognition, like although this card is not really recognition, but for some reason I pick up that for Scorpio. There's going to be some sort of recognition for you if it's in the job. I'm just picking this up. It just came to my head. It has nothing to do with the cards, okay? But I just picked that up. Okay. Also, for your near future, something, see, that's why, recognition. All of a sudden, this is for your, um, this card right here is a finalization for possibly a project that you did, something that you did. It could have been if you're working in real estate, something that you finalized, okay, and uh, you need a, the green light to really go, 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 but it's already done. It's it's like the final straw, but it still needs some more paperwork, but it's going to go through. And I'm going to tell you why it's going to go through. I'm going to tell you why it's going to go through. But because it's not going to go through right away, guess what you're going to do, Scorpio? Guess what you're going to do? Something that Scorpios do. You're going to worry the hay out of yourself with the nine of swords. Don't worry. You're going to be getting headaches and worrying about it, tossing and turning. If you have, if you suffer from headaches, listen to frequencies uh, to control those headaches. Not only that, but uh, take some magnesium, some magnesium and vitamin D, you know, if you have any type of headaches, okay, um, Scorpio. And you know what? The final outcome, guess what you're going to get? Yep. Ten of cups, ten of cups, Scorpio. So you're going to be okay. Stop worrying. So these cards, I'm going to say... This is going to be a weekly read, okay? Let's say it's going to be a weekly read. So from now, I think it's the 19th, the 18th, but I'll probably put it up by tomorrow, this video, okay? So the 19th, I believe, to the 20-something. But although things take time to come through, okay? It takes time to come through. As far as sometimes I could say read a, read the cards but it couldn't come out in a month or two months or whatever but take it um don't take it to face value is is what they say generally something like that all in all i am falling asleep scorpio but i love you guys and i hope this resonated with you please like share subscribe and i will see you again Love you all. Have a beautiful, beautiful night. Sleep, pray, and uh, don't forget about the money medals. The money medals, okay? Money medals, 1-800-1-800-800-1865 1 if you're interested in silver. And you could also get the big, um, the big one, the bar, which I will show you tomorrow. Okay, the bigger bar, but money medals, don't forget. Um, believe twenty five dollars an ounce. Get it while it's hot, because when it when it shoots up, you're gonna regret it. So invest in gold and silver, and I will be putting the link below. Okay, I'll I'll put the right link below because I've been doing all kinds of crazy stuff on my links. I'm like, I know I'm not illiterate, you know. I'm an educated type of gal, but you know, things happen, especially today because I'm falling asleep. I love you guys. Have a beautiful day. Your Puerto Rican mommy with a sprinkle of French. Love you. Have a good one. Bye.